If you are having problems with your images displaying, your links working, or your CSS, it uh, usually comes down to one of three things. Uh, first thing that you should check is the file name. The file names are case sensitive when you load them to the internet. So upper and lower case is different. Uh, but when you view things offline, they are not case sensitive. So uh, I have this assignment example with problems <laughs> and this is the live version. How can I tell it's the live version? It does not have the C drive on it. Okay, and then here's the same example, but this is the one that is off my C drive. And you can see that I've got a background graphic here, but it's missing on the live example. Okay, so um, what you would need to check is the name of the file and the name of the folder. So here, what is it it's expecting to find is a folder called media with a capital M. And inside media, it is expecting a file called Key West with a capital K. So if I come over to the server and see what's actually here in this directory, I've got media, all lowercase, and inside media, I have Key West, but it does not start with the capital K. It has a lowercase k, but it's got a capital W. And that is why it does not display here. The folder name has the wrong upper and lower case, and the file name also has the wrong upper and lower case. So to fix this, I'm gonna fix it right on the server. Uh, you would have to fix it in your editing program and then uh, use FileZilla to transfer it up. But I'm going to change media to lowercase. I'm gonna change the K in Key West to lowercase. And then I have to capitalize the W in West. And now I'm gonna save. And then I am going to come over to this uh, assignment example with problems. And I'm going to reload it. Now, sometimes in Chrome, when you reload, it pulls from the cache, which is a place on your hard drive that it stores everything that you're displaying in web pages. And it stores them in the cache so that if you reload a page, it can pull it from the cache and load the page faster. Uh, when you're developing web pages, this is a problem because if you change the page and you transfer the new version, you don't want the old version pulled from your hard drive. You want the new version displayed. And so you can force Chrome to always display the new version. If you press F12, and if you're on a laptop, you sometimes have to press Fn while you're pressing F12, um, you can go into this network section and disable the cache. And then when this is open, and you can kind of open it and make it smaller, but when this is open, anytime you reload your page, it will always pull the current one from the server. Okay, so when I'm uh, correcting work and uh, working on my own pages, I kind of have this open all the time. <laughs> so that way, uh, when I reload, I know I'm always getting the current version of the page. So that's the first uh, and probably the most common error that I see. Uh, the next error uh, that I see. And if you test pages offline, and I can see I'm offline because I can see the C drive, um, you should see this offline uh, as well as online. If you click a link 
and the page doesn't display, there is a problem, okay? And uh, this is a problem offline, okay? And I can see, looking at what it's uh, trying to access, that um, the MACNA photos is in the lesson three folder, but I am referring to the lesson two folder. So that's a problem, okay? And um, if I click on the next one, you can see I did the same thing here. Okay, and so if we look at the source code, you can see I copied the links from lesson one to two, uh, but I forgot to actually change the link itself, <laughs> the a folder in the link itself, and that's why it's not working. Okay, and it should say lesson three. Now I notice another little problem up here on lesson two. So let's take a look at those because those aren't going to work either. Now, why aren't those working? Well, it's looking for lesson space two. And it is not a good idea to put spaces in folder or file names um, because it's hard to tell if you've typed one or two spaces. And um, so I just omit spaces altogether. Um, but that is not what I named my folder. So let's take a look over here at how I actually named these folders. Okay, so you can see lesson two has no space. So that needs to be fixed. And I can fix these here. You would have to do it in the editor. But if I get rid of those spaces, okay, then that folder name matches what I have here. And so those links will work as long as I entered the file names correctly. Okay, and then down here, well, this needs to be lesson three. Now let me save these come over here and reload this. So it should be pulling in my new version. And I can already tell that that worked because I'm actually seeing pages now. And let me check these. Okay, these are working as well. All right, so those all work. Now let's go down to lesson four. And 404 file not found. All right, so there's a problem with those links as well. Um, I have lesson four with no space, but I have a lowercase l. So let's go over here. You can see that I did not name it with the lowercase l. I used an uppercase l. So that is the case sensitivity uh, <laughs> creating a problem for me because if I went to my offline version, which is right here, the one off the C drive, I would be able to display these. Okay, and this is something that is really, really confusing for students. Um, when you view things offline, it is not case sensitive, okay? But the minute you put them on the web, Okay, so you're not looking at your drives on your computer anymore. You're looking at the internet. They are case sensitive. So upper and lower case are different. Okay, so that is something that you just are going to have to remember. And because this is saved with an uppercase L, I have to fix those links to get the live version, the one that's actually on the web to get that one to work. All right, so once I fixed those and I save, and I come over here, this is my live version. You'll notice I still have that panel open. I can refresh and now, 
these links should work. Okay, so um, common problems. The name of the file is wrong or the upper and lower case use is wrong. Uh, that's problem number one. Problem number two, the name of the folder is wrong or um, you're using upper case letters instead of lowercase. It, it, what you're using uh, to reference the image or the page in the link does not match the actual name of your folder and upper and lower case matter. Okay, so those are really the most common problems. Uh, another problem that I do see is that people will forget um, to include the folder <laughs> that um, the CSS or the image is in. And so I'm going to create a little problem here. So if I do something like this, okay, I'm basically telling the web browser that the CSS for this page is in the same folder as the page itself. So this assignment example with problems is in this main directory and it's expecting assignments.css to be here too. Okay, but assignments.css is actually located in my CSS folder. Okay, so I have to tell it it's in the CSS folder. And if I don't, and I reload the page, you'll see that my CSS is gone. Okay, this one is here because it's inline CSS. Let me scroll down and show you. Okay. I put that CSS right in the tag, but the rest of the CSS is not showing up because I didn't give it the right location. Okay, in fact, if I click on this link, it won't find the page because the page is in a CSS folder. So if I come back in here and give it the folder, and save it and reload the page, I get my CSS back. Okay. 